How's it going? I am demoing a, I guess, an alpha game uh, for VR. It was free. I discovered it about 30 minutes to an hour ago. And I discovered that this is perhaps a game my father might like uh, with his heritage and, uh, in, I guess, driving trains a little bit. And so I'm going to give you a warning heads up, which if you haven't noticed yet, I am recording what I'm seeing through uh, the VR headsets. So you're going to see every movement my head's making. I'm trying my best not to make you nauseous, but I can't guarantee it. So what this is, is a first person VR train simulator, I guess. I don't know. And so this goes over your rules. Don't care. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I'll give you a heads up though that uh, at a certain point, I will lose. Yeah, I, I'll lose tracking on my motion controller. So, forgive me for mistakes in the train, because uh, I'm trying to control stuff, and uh, it's not wanting to behave. So, let's get started. All right. So, first of all, I need to move back in my chair. And uh, yes, give you a overview of the cockpit. It's not very big, as you can tell. It's a small engine, uh, but we can go up there. This is our default position where we have a brake. We have a coupler, decoupler. I'm not going to try any of that. This is our track selector. Uh, I don't know if that button is an empty water bottle. Who starts a ride with empty water? I mean, seriously, look at this. There is no water in this bottle. Now, if I'm thirsty, what am I gonna do? Drink this empty water bottle? No, okay. There's her speed. And of course, if I drop something, it just, eh, whatever. There's a horn. This is our forward reverse. Apparently in forward, there's our thrust. Some of these buttons work, I don't know what they do. Uh, I don't really care, I guess. So we're going to start off with our brake. Uh, I'm going to take my trigger finger. Actually, I'm going to grab my... So I'm trying to put this little dot right there. And then push it forward a little bit. All right, enable the brake. Now this is always the hardest part, is getting just enough thrust. Move my leg down there. Uh, see what I mean? All right, so I'm going to start off a nice leisurely place. Make sure I don't go too fast on there. I can switch views like this and see from this perspective. I can go in the back in that same position. So we got four different views we can play with. And I think we need to increase thrust. Of course, it's kilometers per hour, so I guess someone's in the metric system here. All right, yeah, I'm going way too fast. I got barely any throttle on, that's the problem. That's... So the only real problem here is that uh, I'm losing tracking right where my throttle control is. Anyway, we're going to try not to derail the, the train. I'm going to give you a nice view of the scenery here. So, without making you as much as squeamish as possible. Normally, I'd be moving my head around a lot. Because, to me, my perspective, I have about 80, 90 frames a second, so I can... It, it's just like I'm there, you know. A little bit blurry because I don't have my contacts on, whatever, but... Uh, Spin around in my chair like this, not moving my head, you know. And I need to apply brake because we're going to go like way too fast, way too fast, way too fast. Okay. The whole point of this is to show you a leisurely place, not make a fool of myself. Alright, I'm going to. I'm going on glide here for a second.
monitoring our speed. When we come around some of these vistas, we'll see uh, some cool stuff. Oh, man, it's a problem. I know this is probably not how you do it in the real world, but uh, presently. I'm basically going to just use the brake. I think I have a little more control over that. I don't know. I've recorded this like twice now, and the first couple times you couldn't hear my voice real well over the train, so, you know. Alright, 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 alright. Are we sitting out here? Not more than 870. So if I, if I do come in, I can see what I'm going. So if I hit around... Yeah, we're gonna get down to 40. We get past the middle marker there on path 70. I don't want zero throttle, I just want enough throttle that I'm not gonna stop. So, this is one of those pretty vistas I was talking about here. Nice pretty lake, a nice big mountain. It looks like a real mountain. I cannot describe to you how this feels as a, uh, you know, VR. There's a, a tunnel. What you'll notice is if we get around, we're going to get it, make a circle track, apparently, so. Oh, boy. No trains over there. They give me some tripods. You can mount these sensors on a tripod. I mean, look at these mountains. Can you imagine? Oh. oh I'm going way too fast. It's Buzz the Tower, or whatever. And you can like lean over like you would normally would in real life. It's kind of the cool part of it. Hmm. Oh, look, there's like static animals over there. Or maybe they're saw horses. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell. It's kind of blurry for me. They weren't moving. Are they dead? I don't know. I thought I chose a different selector, but whatever. You know what I could do? Let's try coupling up a car. Man, am I thirsty. Mmm. Nom nom nom. Alright, we're gonna go backwards a little bit.
Alright, so I want to select a different track, right? Ah, I see the product placement there. Good job there. Alright. Alright, so we're going to select that track. I guess this is how you do it. Or is that how you do it? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I should read my guidebook. Alright, let's let's read the guidebook. Use set reverser, okay, whatever. Break. Okay. Okay. How to switch tracks. Point radial laser to a switch sign. Ra radial laser? Point radio laser to a switch sign. Alright, so what is this? It said to that a radio? I'm not, I can't tell. Or is this it? Right here. It drop There. Maybe. Oh, okay, maybe this is it. Just a Radio laser. Okay. I'm going to assume. Let's switch that forward. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, this Back up the truck. Yeah. Totally the right way of doing things. Totally. Alright, let's read the instructions here. It says, take this, point radio laser to a switch sign, click the red button. Okay, so... We're gonna do this one last time. If it doesn't work, we're giving up. We're giving up our train license or whatever it's called.
No, 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 no. Okay. This one? This one? This one? This one? Okay. Maybe. 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 Okay. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Alright, whenever we're going maniacal. All aboard the train! Whoop, whoop! This is what happens you don't give me water. Stupid budget cuts, I swear. Jesus. We are exceeding almost 100 kilometers an hour. Totally over the speed limit. What shall we do? Hmm, calm down, calm down. It's just a train. Too late, there's no stopping this train. You should have given me water. The captain goes down with his ship, right? And there we go. Thank you for writing Tux Railroads or something, I don't know. You did this. You did. And you. Alright, that was fun. Sorry for the goofiness. I was uh, getting a little worked up there a little bit, but uh, that was fun. Thank you very much. Have a nice night.